What's going on, guys? Welcome back to RC Every Day. It's to me a time again. Um, <laughs> funny, interesting story about this car here. So this is the Itamitsu Mugen Mugen. I know I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's a Honda Civic hatchback. This kit originated in July 20th, 1993. I don't know how long they ran these for. I don't know if all these cars from the early 90s. I mean, did they just do one run? I've never seen this body set re-released on another chassis, but um, yeah, you can see it's not perfect. None of my collection is perfect at all, and this one I thought was really just going to be the chassis. I really wanted a chassis. Yeah. Several mint in the box ready to do rare FF01 bodies. Um, I've actually picked up the Ford Mondeo. I've got the wheels. I just don't have a chassis for it. I've got uh, several of the rear suspension setups. I've got chassis, you know, standard TT02 or TAO2 stuff, but I don't have any front gear boxes and I can't find any that aren't on a whole car. And just like the last time I bought a, a car for parts, it ended up being a really nice car. I cleaned it up real well and we've used that for one of the bodies. So I got this thinking, all right, this will be a good chassis. The, the story starts, this has been in my eBay watch list for months. It's been on there. The pictures are horrible. It really, I mean, they were honest. I, I appreciate that. It shows the areas that were worn. The stickers are missing in two spots on this side here. This is the worst side, and this is pretty much all they showed, and it didn't have tires, and um, a couple little things. The wheels for this car are the right wheels, but they're supposed to be gray, it looks like, and I've, uh, we're going to do some stuff to this. I've toyed with the idea of painting those, but I don't think I'm going to, because the white looks pretty good, but yeah, this thing turned out to be a whole lot better than it was. So it has been for sale for a while. The shipping was outrageous. I think they wanted $55 shipping. So I wasn't about to jump on that. I don't even remember what the price was. It's been in my watch list forever and ever and ever. And I bought some other vintage Tamiya stuff. So I deleted this out of the cart and didn't think about it again. And I just was strolling through late at night like I always do. Looking for FF01 gearboxes. And here it is a month or so later and they've dropped the price. And it had the best offer. Shipping was still outrageous, but it, I think it was like 150 with 50 something dollar shipping. And I was like, well, they're getting close. So I looked around, looked around, and finally I made an offer. Offered 120 for it. Because I'm thinking just chassis. I'll pay the shipping because the chassis has some upgrades. And uh, they took it. So I got it. It came actually really quick, thanks to the expensive shipping. And uh, yeah, so let's go over what we actually got here. So I'd, I'd never actually seen one of these body sets in person. Um, I've seen the Jack Civic. That was the one I always wanted as a kid. Um, it has a very colorful livery. But uh, yeah, it's it, it says on the box, it's Itamitsu Mugen Civic. Um, it says Mugen on it one place, but it doesn't say Itamitsu anywhere. So I don't know what brand or anything that is. I, I'm not familiar with that at all. I know Mugen, Mugen is kind of like the Shelby for Honda. It's kind of their not factory racing thing but it's kind of tied to the factory i don't know i'm sure somebody in the comments can uh, fill us in on some of the details on that but i know that means they're fast and yeah it's pretty cool so this body is actually in really good shape it's a little dusty uh, a little dirty it needs a bath and you can see all the bad spots right here this sticker here is ripped and peeled and we're missing some of the orange sticker there up the a pillar other than that I, we got a little tire rub mark right here Nothing bad. Some of the edges are, eh, a little, they need to be cleaned up some. But it it's really not bad. So now I have another car to restore and put on the shelf. Um, again, the wheels are supposed to be gray. I'm not sure what these white ones came off of. I, they, they, you know, to me, it's reused wheels over and over for different things. The same wheel that's on, what was it, one of the high lifts, I think, was on the CRV. I mean, it's just, you know. They repurpose stuff they've got molds for, dies for already. But what makes this car such a steal is the chassis. Um, but I am going to do some stuff to this in this video because I do want to get this shelf ready. <laughs> we'll call it that. So I've got some tires for it. I actually have a brand new set of Tamiya factory slicks like it would have came with. Um, I don't remember why or when I bought those, but they've been sitting in, a, in my closet here just chilling, waiting for something. And the main thing that really looks bad on this is the mirrors. The mirrors are stock white plastic and they've yellowed over time. So the mirrors on this are supposed to be orange. And I just 
lucked out. I have a very close match. It's not quite the same, but it's close enough to work. This is a TS-31 to me, a bright orange, or yeah, it's called bright orange, for plastics, not the Lexan paint. I bought that and the Lexan equivalent of it when I did the Traxxas slash dirt track car conversion. And I painted it all like fluorescent green and fluorescent yellow, and I, I bought too much, but you never have too much to me of paint. So the mirrors, I think we're going to take off. Um, they're just sitting in there. It's a miracle they've survived. There's no uh, no O-rings and no uh, body pins in there holding them in. They're just stuck in. So <laughs> we got lucky there. Um, maybe I don't have the inserts for them, for the actual mirror part. I may have some reflective mirror stickers that we could fit down in there after we paint them. But I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background. It's pouring down rain. It's been pouring down rain all day. So painting is going to be a challenge. So uh, yeah, let's flip around the other side and show you the show you it's good. So if you've been following along with the channel, you know I've had one of these body style Civics in high school. Um, we did my green air ride one to match my actual car I had in high school, which actually had air ride. But uh, it's not on a it's on a, a FF01 chassis as well. With the air ride setup though, it's you know it's not original or anything. And that, that chassis is pretty well used. I've never actually really driven that car. It did run. The motor was fried that it came with. And I just kind of left it in there and rocked it like it was. But I, I'm a big, big Civic fan. I don't have one in real life. And, uh, you know, they're now this body style hatch is very hard to find. Most of them have been, uh, uh, what do they call it, hot import knighted. Back in the day, the, the sex spec look with all the leather and TVs and stereo systems and stuff and silly paint jobs and Lamborghini doors and all that and now they're getting gutted out and used as drag cars that's really big it seems like the Honda drag scene but uh yeah so I can't find a real one in real life a nice one in real life and uh I'm just gonna keep buying RC versions but this is the display side this side is absolutely perfect um and again it's just a little dusty I've um, got a few edges here to try to trim up of some of the larger decals, but looks fantastic. So paint the mirrors, tires and wheels. I've got a few little little blingy things to put on it, but that's all we're really going to do to this car. Just get it ready to display. It's very nicely done. The decals and stuff that are all intact. Everything's in the right spot. It looks very true to the box art. So I forgot about this. Uh, it showed up in the mail and I was like... Oh, cool. A chassis I needed. And then I saw the body. I'm like, well, dang. And then I saw the chassis. I didn't even realize the level of stuff that is on it. So let's take a look at that now. So she's dusty. But we've got the full FRP chassis. The Tamiya actual FRP chassis plates. I don't know, again, this this from the 90s. I don't know if this chassis is original to the 90s. There's no way to tell the difference between the re-releases and stuff like that. So it is what it is. But that's a lot of added value. I mean, those chassis sets, new... I think they're the cheapest I've seen them is 80 or 90 dollars it comes with all the hardware and everything so that's a nice added bonus another thing we have is the uh one of the little mini oil dampers with the pink aluminum bodies and they are upside down I'm guessing to prevent leaking because it seems like every aluminum RC shock leaks but one thing I did didn't notice we have adjustable upper control arms all the way around we've got a pretty nice camber set up on here the chassis feels very very balanced and it also I'm pretty sure we got ball bearings in here it feels that one's that one's not okay we'll take a look at that and see but we've got no broken parts we've got a very solid non wobbly steering setup we've got some aluminum servo mounts uh, the front gearbox here somebody cut the vents out for better airflow to the engine because again it's the front engine front wheel drive and uh, yeah looking underneath I mean this chassis has it doesn't look like it has anywhere. The front gearbox has a few scratches. I, if I had to guess, somebody probably raced this on carpet because the body does have some tire rub marks and things like that. And then they come back later, upgraded the chassis. Looks like brand new lower control arms as well as the adjustable uppers. And uh, yeah, they probably let it sit on their shelf to commiserate their childhood hobby. <laughs> and now it's going to sit on my shelf for the same reason, but... Uh, yeah, excellent shape. A lot of, I mean, this this was a good deal. I think like 160, 170 with shipping and everything. 
and uh, it did arrive quick so I can't complain there we got neon green front springs blue rear rears are pretty stiff but it looks like it's set up pretty good it's these cars had fantastic balance the front engine front motor it was a really neat experience and I would like to get one to drive but uh, every time I find one they end up being nicer than intended so we'll have to see if we can remedy that one of these days the only one I have driver quality is on the, the air ride chassis and that's not going to be a <laughs> viable driver solution so i think the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to take these mirrors out and i need to dust the chassis i don't think it needs clean i think you just need to dust it really well i've got some microfibers and take the mirrors out try to paint them as quickly as i can get them back inside the house in the warm and uh, hopefully they match pretty well and i'm going to give the body a bath in the sink with some lightly like some dawn dish soap and warm water just get some of the dust off of it that's caked down into it. I don't want to submerge the body in it because I don't want it to get under any of the loose graphics and lift them. We've already got enough lifting on it. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably just going to have to trim this off up here where it's peeling just to get the frayed edge out of it. So, uh, yeah, got a little bit of work to do. I'm going to take the wheels off as well and clean those in the sink. Those I can submerge and we'll soak them because they're a little dingy, but they do look like they're brand new. So uh, I guess first we'll tell the wheels off. We'll look and see if it has bearings and see if there's any other little things, little gems hidden All on right, it. So the tire, the wheels do have a little, a little discoloration. Um, I don't have any appropriate silver gray paint. I looked earlier out in my bins when I found that one. Um, I don't think I have anything in the house either. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that, but we'll get them cleaned up anyway. We've got some uh, nice like sealed ball bearings in it. The rear one's a little bit different than the front. I'm not sure if they've swapped them out or something. I think the car has been raced a little bit because there was a little bit of grime on everything. It wasn't just dust. See, I've missed a few spots of dust, but especially back here, I think these shocks have been leaking. They feel fantastic right now. So I don't know if it's just race grime, whatever, you know. But again, it's not a big deal. This is pretty much going to be a shelf queen, so I'm not going to tear into the gearbox or anything like that. I'm just going to go wash these wheels first. I'm going to pull the mirrors out. Maybe give them a little wash as well <clears throat> before we paint them. Got everything done the mirror color is pretty close it's not quite as fluorescent as the body color the sticker but it looks a whole lot better than yellowed plastic with some scuff marks on it for whatever reason some of the scuff marks did show through i probably should have put another coat of paint on it but it's raining so didn't really get there i trimmed up some of the rough edges on decals some of them eh, not perfect i'm um, on our bad side here i did just cut some of the edges off and tried to get it to where it would lay flat. But this thing cleaned up phenomenally. All I did was use a damp microfiber cloth and I was able to get, there were some scuffs on the hood, there's some scuffs on the roof, there was a whole bunch of tire marks on this back corner. It's actually still one right there. Oh, got most of it. All that stuff just came right off. So worked out really well. It looks a lot brighter now. Um, I got the tires and wheels mounted. 
Uh, again, the kit shows it's supposed to have uh, gray wheels, but I don't know what shade of gray. I've never seen one of these in person. I don't know if it's like these. These are the Celica wheels, the three spokes. They're kind of a gunmetal plastic color. I don't know if that's how these are supposed to come or what, but I did go ahead and throw in a little servo. I buy those cheap servos on Amazon and eBay. I get like six of them for $12. I mean, they're, they're metal geared. They're okay. I wouldn't race with one or anything, but you know, these just display piece to keep it where I can keep the tires turned and, you know, keep everything from moving around. I would like to put a motor in here, but I don't know where all my other can motors are. I've got some of those torque tune motors, but I don't want to throw that in a shelf queen. That's, there's no sense in using that. I'll put that in something I run. So it's time for the finale to get a look at it. Pretty, pretty happy with this though. It's had a Bob Ross moment. I made a reel with this. Looked at my uh, Bob Ross calendar over here. Uh, some people get it. Some people don't understand the Bob Ross references. But see his quote down there. Just replace every time he says painting. Just replace it with RC car. Every RC car is going to be different, and that's what makes it great. There are no mistakes. Just happy accidents. So nothing's perfect. Kind of my mantra. I don't shoot for perfection. Perfection is is stressful and not fun. And this is supposed to be a fun hobby. So there's absolutely no point to beat yourself up over little stuff like that. To me, this is a win because I think I got it at a fair price and I really don't like painting Lexan. I'm terrible at it. And these stickers on these Tamiya cars are extensive. I mean, this is tons of pieces that have to work together. All the window frame are four separate pieces. Um, that one I think is two or three. The, I mean, there it's it's very intricate work. And I don't have a very steady hand for that type of stuff. So, yeah, this was a win all around. I can't be mad at it. I got to find a nice spot on my Tamiya shelf for it. And, uh, yeah, let me get it put together and we'll get a better look in here in the scale garage. All right, guys, pretty happy with that. So I think it's gonna wrap the video up here. I, oh, I forgot to mention those mirrors. I don't have the actual reflective piece to go in it. So I had some RC four wheel drive uh, sticker mirror from uh, one of the trail finders or something. And uh, yeah, I just cut a little piece. It loosely fits, it's not perfect, nothing's perfect. But we got that put in there, so it has something going on in the mirror. And uh, yeah, we put the, Aluminum hexes and aluminum wheel nuts and just, you know, Tamiya stuff. I do notice one thing with this, and I'm not sure if anybody knows in the comment below if you do. So it, the rear uprights on these Tamiya cars, they have a little bit of uh, caster made into them. So typically, your, wheel, your tires are closer together towards the front of the car. So everything is angled in a little bit. And I think these may be on backwards. Um, I did that once on one I rebuilt, and I, I noticed it once I got the tires on, and I think that's what's happened on this one. But, due to where the shocks are mounted, I don't think I can flip it around. I don't know. I'll have to play with it and see. Um, but, I, yeah, let, comment below if you did that for racing or some reason. Put positive caster, or I don't know which direction caster is rated, but where you have the front of your rear tires on a front-wheel drive car further apart than the rear of the rear tire. That makes sense. Um, typically on all RC cars, all these Tamiya TA02s that I have, it goes the other way. Your front so your, or your rear tires tuck in just a little bit. And that helps keep things tracking straight. So I don't know. But I could tell just a little bit when I put the body on because I've got a pretty severe gap at the back. And these bodies are made to fit the chassis that, you know, have provisions for that. So, yeah, comment below if you know that. But otherwise, appreciate you guys watching. And, uh... We got some really cool stuff coming to the channel, and I hope y'all get excited because, uh, yeah, I'm investing big in the brand. Uh, I know I went full time with this earlier in the year, back in February, and haven't really done much other than just making videos. So we've got some big things coming. Uh, follow along on Instagram and Facebook if you are uh, inclined to and want to see what's going on behind the scenes. But until next time, guys, keep it scale, and I'll see you in the next video.